What is going on, everybody? The Arid Lord is here, back with another vlog. Uh, two for one today. You get a two for one special. Earlier, I did my What If series, The Saviors vs. The Whispers. It's a new series I'm doing where I do alternate scenarios, so go check that out. Link will be in the description. Of course, you can get all those updates by subscribing to my YouTube channel, so please subscribe if you haven't done so already. So today, we're going to be talking about an announcement that came out regarding a third Walking Dead series that has officially been announced. It was in an AMC board meeting of sorts between executives uh, talking about various things on a board conference call, uh, including ratings and such. According to Ed Carroll, we have hired creative people that have pitched story outlines. There's no premiere plans yet, uh, but AMC gave us a very slight update Thursday on the Lottie's Walking Dead spinoff, which should became, become the third series in Scott M. Gimple's TV universe still. It's one that may satiate rabid fans of the franchise. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, taking this, this is from an article from The Wrap. And um, some of the words from Ed Carroll, um, that is in active development. We're not at a stage where we'll be announcing its plans to premiere, but we have hired creative people that have pitched story outlines. We feel very good about the development of that series. So this is in a fourth quarter call. Uh, it was with media analysts and reporters, so it was a public showing. Um, also CEO Josh Sapin's remarks on the call were intended to add some perspective to dwindling Nielsen ratings for season nine of The Walking Dead. Though the series is weighed down from its heyday and recently hit an all-time low in both the key adults, 18 to 49 demographic and in total viewers, executives there are quick to point out that it's still Cable's top drama and number two on all of the, of, on all of TV this season to NBC's This Is Us. Fine AMC's, yep. So they have more financial results, but we're not going to go too deep into that. Um, but it is interesting, and I've argued this before, that The Walking Dead doesn't have too much to worry about. They're still getting millions of viewers watching their show, which for a show that's in its ninth season, that's still an impressive feat. Also remember the fact that they've killed off and made other characters move on including Carl, who was at the forefront, Rick Grimes, who was the guy. So you have to give them credit for continuously getting viewership, even in the face of all of these changes that have really happened to the series. You don't want things to get stale. And again, I, you have to commend Angela Kang for doing a fantastic job. So what, what do you guys, I just want to get some perspective. What do you guys think that this new series is going to be? Will it have something to do? There have been rumors that it might be... Uh, um, Maggie, but the actress who plays Maggie is still doing her other show, Whiskey Cavalier, so I tend to think those rumors are false. It could be a Here's Negan, like a Negan backstory, something to do with Negan and his backstory. I was just mentioning that on a previous vlog, where we got Alpha's backstory when before the character was even introduced, and uh, we never had anything like that for Negan. And considering Negan was around for, what, two seasons, two full seasons as an antagonist, I think he deserves it. He's still alive in the series, obviously, but it's frustrating that other than spoken words from his perspective, we don't have a true flashback or any footage from the earlier Negan, either before he formed the Saviors, while he was forming the Saviors, or before the Apocalypse when he was with his wife, Lucille. All very interesting things to explore. We could also do uh, something on the Governor. Uh, David Morrissey, who plays the Governor from way back in Seasons 3 and 4, actually was in a recent interview. He said, I would love to play the Governor again. David Morrissey said that he thought that, you know, he could always do more with the character, and if you guys remember in season five, the governor was in a few hallucinations by Tyrese and David Morrissey got to reprise his role as the governor for one episode in season five. And I'm sure that, you know, you get that spark going. And also David Morrissey goes to a lot of Walker Stalker conventions. He went on the cruise recently. So he's still around the cast, the, the new cast. He's around um, a very rabid fan base who probably wants to see him back in the show in some capacity so i'd have to imagine because there's there's books about him there's books that i've read about the governor of course those books are more taken from the comic book adaptation where there's brian and philip rather than just philip 
there's two there's the, there, there's a there's a brother duo and one of the brothers takes on the identity of the other it's a little different in the comic books in the show it is it's the philip who's the governor in the comics it's actually brian who's the governor it's a different person so um you'd have to probably toy with it but i'm assuming it would also be original content so uh, this is Gimple's new role. He's the active creative coordinator of The Walking Dead. Him and Kirkman are the are the dons of The Walking Dead, pretty much. I guess you could throw Angela Kang in there because she's showrunner of C- of the of the Walking Dead of the Walking Dead show. But Gimple's overseeing Fear the Walking Dead. He also has a heavy hand in the Rick Grimes movies. So you got to think we're getting a lot of Walking Dead content for a show where people were thinking to themselves, "Oh, this show is in its ninth season." Fear the Walking Dead's going into its fifth season. You know, is there really any need for Walking Dead stuff? Like, are people really interested in all this zombie stuff? Like, why, why are we continuing this? It should just die out. That doesn't seem to be the attitude of AMC. They don't think that the ratings going down is a big deal. They're still getting a lot of ratings, and they have a lot of rabid fans. This is a very rabid fan base, as, you know, I see a lot of passionate people on my page. And they have the Rick Grimes movie, so Andrew Lincoln, the star of your show, we're going to see what happens to him. And since, for many people, he's the main character, I mean, his story was The Walking Dead, and he's just being moved to a different environment to explore different stories, because... We would really lock him down to the Whisperer storyline and everything that happens in the comic if he had to stay in the show. But now that he's in the movies, he can really explore and get into some interesting plot points about what the rest of the world is doing, the government, the military, things that we just haven't thought about or talked about really since season one and two. These were all ideas that characters like Shane and Rick brought up to the group about trying to contact the government. They went to the CDC in season one, but after pretty much season one, and then when they went to the farm, all hope of trying to get in contact with the old world was was abandoned, and it was just about survival. So hopefully, these Rick Grime movies go into a little bit of what's going on with the government, and are they actually trying to solve this zombie virus? So... Um, so all things to consider. So I just want you guys, like, there, I just threw out a few ideas for what the series could be. What do you guys think it could be? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And of course, I will do more uh, vlogs like this when I get more news about The Walking Dead. And I will continue my What If series. And of course, your suggestions and comments help make that series because I want to do discussions on what alternate scenarios could have occurred in the show and I want to do breakdowns and based on my extensive knowledge of the show characters and the comic characters I want to pit them against each other and tell you what would happen so that's the what if series and um again as more news comes out about actors new shows new series the movies I'm still waiting for movie updates I want to know what my buddy Rick Grimes is doing in that freaking helicopter I mean he's He's somewhere out there. Every time I see that intro for season nine and the helicopter just flies across the screen, I'm like, oh, there's Rick. (laughs) So, uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And if you like what you saw here, be sure to subscribe and comment. And uh, let's, uh, let's keep this train going, guys. All right, thanks. See you later.